hello everybody welcome back to the vlog my name is Phil if you're new here please do subscribe every week I aim to put out a vlog although admittedly I didn't actually do one last week so apologies anyway this week I am off to see our friends George and Ali and Albert and Percy the dog um, I haven't actually DJed this weekend well I will be tomorrow because I'm doing the RVT I haven't DJed last night and I'm not DJing tonight, which is a real blessing, actually. It's nice to get relatively early nights. So I do feel quite fresh today, although I did feel quite knackered this morning. But I think that's just my body readjusting. Anyway, I'm off to pick up the hire car. I think I'm going the right way. And then we're off to Hither Green to see George and Ali. Wow, what a nice start to the week. It is a beautiful sunny day here in London on a Monday. Despite the fact that I look like I'm going out and braving the storms, Jeremy said to me, why are you going out dressed like you are? I said, because I've got pockets in this jacket. I can store my phone and my keys and my money and everything else. So I'm off to the gym, off to do my physio, um, getting into a nice routine with that actually because I'm doing um, yoga and physio at home um, alternating with the days that I go to the gym so I don't I don't go to the gym every day but the days that I don't I do um, work from an app which is called Fizzy App which is um, what I had to download the last time I went to physio at Guy's Hospital which was a couple of weeks ago maybe just over a week ago so yeah, so I'm finding that that's quite um, effective and my knee pain is not as bad as it was, which is a good thing. So I've had some good news actually. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I DJ'd at Circa in Bangman for a night called Woof as part of Mega Woof events. Um, I'm going back. They've given me another gig this Friday, so I'm looking forward to that. The only thing is though, that it's relatively late i mean i finish at one so that's probably quite early compared to some of the other gigs that i have which finish at four but the next day i've got record store day because it's a really big year this year i counted about 12 or 15 titles that i want to buy um i can't afford all of those so it's probably going to be half that if not less than that um so that's going to be saturday morning um and I'm going to be going with Chris, my friend Chris, who also DJs at Wolf, um, who you might have seen on Boys on Film Reviews on this channel. So, yeah, a late night and an early morning, but it's one of those, it's one of those things where you have to get there early to queue outside the store. I'm probably going to end up in Soho again, because I think it was one of the record shops I went to last time, I can't remember which one it was, um, but not far from, um, not far from where I teach actually, on Poland Street at King's Arms. So I've had a really easy weekend. I haven't had any DJ gigs over the weekend. I was meant to play at the RVT, but they closed um, yesterday. So I haven't had any gigs at all. So I feel I feel like I'm having quite a, an easy week so far. I know it's only the first day of the week, but I did a lot of work yesterday for the Plant Based News podcast editing work that I do. I managed to get a lot of that done and I've just sent that episode off today. Um, going to be doing a couple of reviews with Raj later on this afternoon once I get back from the gym. And then I'll probably edit a video or two. Um, but yeah, I think I've got quite an easy week. I managed to get a lot of stuff done. I finished my financial stuff, got my will sent off, all signed and sealed. Um, just waiting to hear back from the pension companies about consolidation. All very boring. Going to a gig this week. Going to see Georgia on Thursday at Omira. She's got a new album coming out, her third album, which I'm really looking forward to hearing. Um, she's released one track called It's Euphoric, which came out a few weeks ago. So yeah, night out on Thursday, DJ on Friday night and Saturday night. So it's gym time now.
Where are we going, Jeremy? <laughs> no idea. Under the tunnel, we're going to see Georgia. Not too Georgia Georgia Barnes. Georgia Barnes, Neil Barnes, daughter. Neil from left field. First time we've seen her. And we're going to O'Meara, which is not far from here. Is it Southwark Street? O'Meara Street. O'Meara Street, oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? That's what it says on the tip. Georgia Live is amazing and I can't see because I've got my glasses on. You're going to have to tell me if it's out of focus, Jeremy. What did you think? I can't tell either. This is amazing. I'm kind of deaf now though. It was quite loud. loud. We were quite quite near the stage but she has so much energy and a real connection. She was looking at everybody around the room. You like the new stuff? Oh, you stop talking to me. <laughs> Come on, we want your review, Jeremy. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was great. Um, it was a guitar one. And, uh... Yeah, it was kind of like, um, I was thinking, quite 80s guitar. There's a bit, bit yeah, of yeah. cure in there as well. Shoe gazy, almost. Yeah.
and there was one she played on um, like little congas, but, um, whatever the name of the rhythm is, that's the beginning yeah. of um, Toto's Africa. I thought yeah. we were going to go into Africa, but it was one of her songs. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the, new, the new stuff's good. The new stuff is quite different. Not radically different, but... <laughs> Not radically, but quite. Well, just a different style, less electronic, more yeah, more, more overall encompassing different genres. Bit of piano. Bit of piano. She's a multi-instrumentalist. She works the keyboards, the guitar, the drums, I mean... And the dance floor. And, and the dance floor. She works that, definitely works that. Let's have a Yeah, it's amazing. Such a great show. And she seemed genuinely appreciative of everybody that was there and her support, which is a good thing. You don't always see that. See, she was like, part way through, she's like, oh, I just lost my best friend. <laughs> which I thought yeah. was sweet. Yeah. Really good. Thank you, Georgia. You won't ever see this, but thank you. <laughs> Bowie projected onto the side of South Bank Centre was a good omen. So I'm back at Circa tonight, starting in about 15 minutes, just walking across the bridge, and then I'll be there. Actually, you could just see it there with the purple lights. So, another great night at Circa. I am so at breath, I just walked up the steps at Embankment. Oh. I got halfway up and thought, no, I'm gonna stop, but I knew security were watching. So that I didn't wanna come across as being a complete lightweight. Oh, and I have drunk people coming towards me. Anyway, I'm heading home. I stay for a quick drink afterwards. There's a couple of people that I knew there. Um, but I'm up in five hours for a record store day. Mad, mad. It'll be worth it though. Typical, isn't it? When you want to get home early, everything goes wrong. I had one of the exits, one of the entrances that was closed off. So I've now had to go to Waterloo train station entrance and that was fine but yeah a good 10-15 minute detour so back on the tube home time sleep time for three hours sleep So I've decided to put this vlog out a little bit later on Sunday, so it's not gonna be 11 a.m. Um, today was really good at Record Store Day. It was really good queuing with Chris, 
who came down and met me in Soho about 7.30 this morning. Um, and I'm off to two brewers. <laughs> So the two brewers was mad, really busy. I just got back to Bermondsey, got back home, it's half past four. And to be honest, I am shattered. I'm so tired. I've had very little sleep this weekend. Uh, yesterday, actually, I don't normally do it, but yesterday I had a two hour sleep on the sofa watching a movie and I fell asleep. I don't normally do that during the day because I just can't fall asleep during the day. But anyway, Two Brewers was really busy, really good crowd. And now I'm back in Bermondsey. I'm just about to go home to bed, but I thought I'd show you this. That's the barrier for the London Marathon, which is happening tomorrow when I'm putting this vlog out. Um, I usually put the vlog out on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock but tomorrow it's going to be a bit later because I haven't had time to finish the edit properly so I'm going to be doing that when I wake up tomorrow whatever time that will be, probably midday but yeah, so the London Marathon is taking place tomorrow and <laughs> as is always the case I've been out DJing the night before and I live on the main road where the London Marathon runs through and I can always hear people cheering and the runners running past um, the main road where I live so I'm going to put my earplugs in tonight no offence guys but yeah good luck to everybody who's running at the London Marathon and I do actually know somebody that's doing it um, a couple of people actually Lisa who's a girlfriend of Debbie Ryan that I used to work with at Gaydar and also William who was my next door neighbour when I grew up in Crocken Hill um, in the 70s he was probably 10 years younger than me might be more than that actually thinking about it because I was about 10 when he was a baby so actually yeah he's probably like 40 early 40s so good luck Will and good luck to everybody who's running thank you for watching the vlog this week um, I'll try and be a bit more regimented next week and get it out at 11am um, but yeah Please do subscribe if you enjoy these vlogs. I'm not sure who's watching, so let me know who you are. Tell us how you discovered this channel, and I'll see you next week. Have a good one.